Now in this part of the question we're asked to write the fraction 2 over 4 minus y squared in partial fractions. Well the first thing that I need to do is to factorize the denominator here. And this is the difference of two squares. This is the square of 2 and this is the square of y. So that means that the denominator factorizes into two linear factors, 2 minus y multiplied by 2 plus y. Now when you have linear factors, as we have here, the partial fractions that you get of the type of a constant, let's say a, over the first linear factor, so that's 2 minus y, and then another constant, let's call it b, say, all over the second linear factor, 2 plus y. Now in the next stage, what I always like to do is multiply both sides by the denominator, 4 minus y squared. But it's easier to see this as multiplying by 2 minus y, 2 plus y to both sides. So on the left hand side, we would have that therefore 2 is identical to, and if we multiply this term by 2 minus y, 2 plus y, we're just left with a multiplied by the factor 2 plus y, and then plus, when we multiply this term, b over 2 plus y by 2 minus y, 2 plus y, we're left with b times 2 minus y. So we need to find out the constants a and b at this next stage. And to do this, the method I'm going to do is to take out each of these brackets, make them zero. So in this case, for this bracket, I'd let y equal negative 2. So we say let y equal negative 2. And that gives 2 equals, and as I say, 2 minus 2 is naught. Nothing times a is nothing. Uh, here we've got 2 minus minus 2, so that's 4b. So 2 equals 4b, just simply divide both sides by 4, simplify that, we get 2 quarters, which is a half. Next, we want to find out the constant a. So to do that, I'm going to make this bracket 0 by setting y equal to 2. So we'll let y equal 2. And on the left we have 2 equals, here we have 2 plus 2 which is 4, 4a. And this bracket, as I say, goes to 0, so we have nothing here. Dividing both sides by 4 gives a equals 2 quarters or a half. So all I need to do now is just summarize by saying that the fraction I was given, 2 over 4 minus y squared is identical to, well, you could put this a half a over 2 minus y. You could write that, but it's not really very neat. So what we do is we times top and bottom by 2, and that would give 1 over 2 lots of 2 minus y. So I'm going to just change that to 1 over 2 lots of 2 minus y. Similarly, when we get to b, b is a half, okay, so we've got to put a half over 2 plus y, and again, if I times top and bottom by 2, I would get 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 plus y. And there we have the answer, 2 over 4 minus y squared expressed in partial fractions. And that brings us to the end of this part of the question.